and gentlemen, and welcome to the Kent Holstey podcast. I'm so glad that you decided to click that link today and be a part of the conversation. As always, you can put in your thoughts and comments and your life experiences within this topic in the comment spot on the YouTube channel. And hopefully someone that is watching sees your comment and can actually relate and can motivate them in a special way. So today I wanted to talk about, you know, donating your time, donating your your energy into positive things. I guess the biggest question is, when is the last time you took the time to give to other people that that needed it the most? Like, when was the last time you went to a shelter and donated your time there, or maybe a food pantry? Or maybe just uh, going to your church and mowing the lawn or doing something uh, that usually you wouldn't do, but it's a rare situation. Like I know during the holidays, I think everybody gets frustrated with you know people calling their their houses with fundraisers, or we get that cringe on the back of our neck when we hear our door get knocked on and it's someone trying to raise money for something or you know it's just you can't walk down the street without someone trying to to do something or at least here in San Antonio there's a lot of people that stand in the middle of the street near underpasses which you know is very very common you know back home in Montana we see it like on the corner of a Walmart or something but here it's it's pretty common no matter what intersection you're at they're they're all looking to get help with with things so you know i think of back in school i can't remember if it was in the junior high or it was, if it was in the high school one of our themes for the year was paying it forward and that is one thing that i think we don't do enough is paying it forward is a good way of calling it and I always used the reference of when I lived on the East Coast, uh, there's um, places where you have to drive through to pay tolls for the highways. And sometimes if I had the extra money, I would pay a little extra for other people to pass through so they didn't have to pay. And you'd be surprised how often that got returned in some sort of way and it may have not been by the same person that was behind me <laughs> that went before me it, it just happens it's the old saying whatever goes around comes around or however that saying goes it, you whatever you do to help other people somehow something good is going to come back towards you now that doesn't mean we just flat out go out do things expecting good to come right back because that doesn't always happen and we can't expect things to just be given back to us after we give our time because I think there's a lot of people out there that are selfish that go into things thinking okay what can I gain out of this what can I get personally from this and some of those feelings of that are you know a good way of thinking but a lot of it is greed People want things in return right away because they want that self-gratification. They want to feel like they did something good and they want that pat on their shoulder. Well, I mean, that's that's not the right way of, of looking at it when you give your time. When I talk about giving your time, I'm talking about literally going out and just doing it for the fun of it. And yeah, giving up the little time that we already have may not seem like a lot of fun but at the end of the day when you're done giving that time giving that energy that you have to help others you might be surprised the feelings that you do have when it's over it may make you want to do it again it might make you plan to start your own style of giving back that is similar you never know the possibilities unless you try and I think that's the thing is we don't try hard enough to help other people. A prime example is the other day I was working and I was at uh, 
a restaurant picking up an order for a customer. And this lady that was in raggedy clothes uh, came up to me and asked if I could spare a dollar. And I had change, so I gave her, I don't know how much, it probably added up to $5. And to me, you know, it doesn't matter if it was legitimate or not, you just never know, and who am I to judge? But the sad thing is, as I went into the restaurant and the store manager was like, do you know that person? And without causing a scene, I just said yes. And it doesn't matter if I knew that person or not. It's just the kind thing to do. You know, maybe that person was thirsty because it was hot out. Maybe they needed that one extra dollar that they asked for because they were short getting onto a bus so they could go somewhere. The issue that we have, and it's an ongoing situation that I tend to talk about a lot, is we tend to judge people just by their appearances. We don't know what they're going through. We don't know if they're really having issues or not. But who are we to question and who are we to judge based off appearance? I think it's a good thing that we help people. Maybe that person needed an extra dollar because they were short on going to get medicine or something f for their body. You know, it's, it's something that we don't think far into long enough. And the funny thing is, is that same day when I did that, something else good happened to me. And today I ended up getting my $5 back. So, you know, it's something that you can't expect that that return is going to come back you just continue to live your life to help people to inspire people you know maybe I should have told that store manager that yeah I didn't know that person but I should have said what difference does that make they may need it you know, we, we base these people that look like they're struggling and think that they're maybe on drugs or maybe they're alcoholics and they buy alcohol. Maybe they are, but maybe that's when you take that extra step to find out why they need that money. Maybe you kind of follow them and see where they go and see if they need help. Because a lot of people who are out there, especially here where I'm at, are homeless. They don't have families. They don't have people to back them up. Now, did I have that money necessarily to give to that person? No, not really. I could have saved it and used it for something else. But then, who's the greedy person? Who's the person that really is the issue? Is it me? Because I... I would have chose not to give that money to help someone? Or is it that person that quite possibly needs that money for something good? And that question goes back to, is it really relevant? Well, I guess I could ask you the same thing. Is it really relevant that you're asking if it's relevant? Because it shouldn't matter. I believe that no matter what, we are called to be on this earth to help people. You know, I always reference back to the biblical story of the Good Samaritan. Could you imagine what it was like for that guy to be not well after being beaten? And people walk by saying, oh, he's bleeding, he's in raggedy clothes now he's he's hurt do I go and help or do I walk away and there's so many people today who choose to walk away there's not enough people out there that reach their hand out and help that person that's down and it's even not even the fact of the people that are, are beaten or or hurt. It's the people that are emotionally beat up. 
that don't know how to go on with their life because maybe they had situations that were really tough. You know, it's just like when I was dealing with my situation, I chose to seek help. I chose to get advice. I chose to go on the path of helping others despite my problems. Because my problems I know other people struggle with. I know that there's people out there that have dealt with emotional abuse. That have dealt with being physically abused. There's people out there that have been in relationships that have been unhealthy. And who have gone through divorces. And maybe who have lost custody of their kids. Life can be very stressful when you go through those things. But when we take that time to really invest into knowing these people, you might discover something truly amazing about them that you can relate with and they can relate with you. We're all human. And we forget that. We look at people and we judge them. And we say, oh, well, I'm better than them because I have a job. I'm better than them because I have a place to live with a bed and food on the table. That's greedy. That's you not being any better than the person that's out there reaching out, asking for help. And some people, in the midst of their problems, don't feel like asking for help is an option. They would rather do it on their own, but yet they feel like they're alone, that no one cares. So imagine you being that person with all those problems, with addiction, with pain, with being homeless, having no family, and seeing people walk by and look at you and they're judging you and you know that they could reach out and help but they don't how does that make you feel how would that make you feel giving your time to help someone could make the world a difference it's about making our communities a better place by giving that time by being that person You see, I came from a family that doesn't like to judge people. When I was growing up, I watched my parents welcome people. I've, I saw my parents do things to help others in ways that are, are able to, to build people up. That are able to, to lift their spirits and make them feel welcome. They didn't have to do it, but they did that to build people up, to let them know that they are cared for. There's been so many teachers that I saw come into my dad's school that didn't have family there because they came from all over. I've seen teachers come from Illinois. I've seen teachers come from Nebraska. I've seen teachers come from Oregon. I've seen teachers come from all over the place. And yet my parents were always there to make them feel welcomed, to make them feel like they, they anything they needed, my parents were there. And that's how we should be with people that we don't know. We need to make them feel welcomed. We need to make them feel like they're cared for. Because what if you lost everything in your life and you had nowhere to go you had nowhere to turn what would it feel like if that one person came up to you and helped you that's the type of feeling that's the type of emotion you should feel right now is going out and doing something that can make a difference Maybe you, you see that same person that is homeless sitting at the same spot and you decide to go get warm clothes, blankets, food, and you drop it off to them. 
Imagine how that would make that person feel. Maybe it's a matter of, you know, it's there's a storm coming and it's going to be cold out. And you know that one person who doesn't have a place and you go to them and you say, hey, I'm going to put you in a hotel for the night so you, have, so you can be warm. So you don't have to be cold. How cool would that be? I've heard of a story like that. I don't remember where, but someone had a hotel. They left early and they noticed a homeless guy and they said, here, I'm leaving a day early. You're welcome to stay in this hotel room for the night. How cool would that be? There's good people out there, but there's not enough. There's not enough people that take that time to, to go out there and make an impact. So here's the questions for you today on the podcast that, once again, you put in the comment spot on the YouTube page. When was the last time you did something for someone that you don't do very often? That you kind of do spontaneously. How did that make you feel? And what did you see come from those people that you helped? Was it worth it? Also, talk about what you could do better to invest your time to helping others. Is there something that you could get rid of out of your life to give more time to other people? Are there situations to where you could donate some things that you have that you know you don't use and you think somebody else could benefit from having? There's so many things, so many questions I could ask you about giving to others. Talk about it. Talk about your experience with donating your time, whether it be in an animal shelter, food shelter, uh, homes, whatever. You know, there's so many things. There's people who donate their time by going to Habitat, Habitat for Humanity and, and building houses. That's pretty cool. It's about using your talents and what you have gained from your knowledge in your life and using that to help other people. That's what this podcast does. My life experiences that I've gone through, topics that I've been told I should talk about, and I, and I express them here. And you, the listeners, my family, can express your thoughts about helping others, building up others. Because this isn't a time to cut down people, judge people, and assume things about people. Now's the time to be that person to lift someone up and encourage them and help them get back on their feet. It may take time. It may take years. But is it worth it? Absolutely. So think about that today. Think about what you can do better to be that person. And as always, think and be positive. Do what you can today, not what you can't, to help others. And I believe in you. Don't you think you should too? And if you see someone who served our country, whether it be military, fire, paramedics, doctors, whatever, if they've served our country, give them elbow Tell them how much you appreciate them. You never know just how much they might appreciate that one act of kindness. So be kind to one another today. And thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed today's podcast. Make sure you check out all the other podcasts here on the YouTube channel, as well as the Kent Holsty Podcast website at kentholsteypodcast.com, where you can find blogs, you can find unboxings, sports stories, whatever. We're trying to get it all on there. It's your one-stop website, hopefully. <laughs> and I hope you enjoy it. And make sure you tell your friends. So like, share, comment, subscribe to the YouTube channel here. And make sure you check out all the other Kent Holsty Podcast social media sites as well. Until the next time we talk again, hope you have a great day, week, weekend, whenever it is. 
I'll see you guys soon, and God bless.